Six videos by Andrew Buckle. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can fade some type. And I've got some type here, I've just created fade type. It's a layer, so as a layer, you can actually apply layer styles. So just go to layer and layer style and gradient overlay. Now, a default one is you'd think would be perfectly okay. Well, it is actually perfectly okay if you don't want to actually extend this any further. But I'm actually going to create fades in different angles. So I don't want the default one, I want the second one. And now, if you've got your standard gradients that uh, come with Photoshop, you would actually have that as a second one. But if you haven't actually got that, you can quickly create that. It's basically just a standard gradient with pasty 100%, pasty 0% with a the stop there, and all black, the rest of it. Click OK. Right, so you've got that. Now, of course, you haven't actually got a fade now. And you think, oh, no fade. Well, there is a quick way of doing that. Just get around it by going to the blending options and then fill options. And you can actually see now it's actually got the fade. So just going to go down there. You can fade it. Obviously, you can change the angle so you don't have to actually fade all the text. You can actually fade it up the top, 45 degrees. So just fade it slightly. And of course, you don't even have to fade it. You've got radial. You can actually fade it with a Okay, once you've actually done that, click OK. So there you have, you've got the faded text, and that's all you want, that's perfect, it's great. But say if you want to fade as well from the top, and you also want it fade, faded from here as well. Okay, well, there's a way of doing that. You can actually go to a layer, and just gonna go to Smart Objects, convert to Smart Object, and you can actually now add another layer, layer layer style and gradient overlay i'm just going to actually now of course that's just done it from the top again it's gone back to the default so i'm just going to change the angle just from down there and you could have that fade as well now you can also use the transparency aspects you just go click there again bring that one now now you don't actually see the fade so you can actually but you can just go up to here blending options and you can change the fill opacity again and you will see fill opacity has gone down okay click ok so now you've got a more complex fade using two gradient overlays you can still edit the text but i'll show that in a sec so i'm just going to go to you can actually make obviously another one you can actually go to a layer smart object convert to smart object and then apply again a layer star and do exactly the same approach to create maybe a fade from a different angle right if you want to edit the text, and I've got obviously a fade type at this point, you can of course, it's just a smart object, so you can just double click on that. And now, just go over to type tool. You can actually change the type. Obviously you can have it as a whole page or a, maybe a paragraph of text. You have to be slightly careful when you're actually check, editing the thing because of the bounds. So if you, if you type in a different word, you might find that the actual word suddenly gets chopped off when you go back. So you have to be quite careful how you align it. So uh, it's actually best to resize that type so it actually doesn't fall outside of the, the bounds. So I just go there and now come out, save, and again you see this text now fade and it's the same angles. Hope you found this of interest. 